Hey everybody, uh, first video on the new batch uh, of many to come, praise God, and this is going to be a video about how to find the key that a song is in. So I'm going to try and explain this as simply as possible with a little metaphor, two metaphors, so you can kind of get an idea for what I'm, of what I'm saying. <clears throat> so basically think of a song as a NASCAR lap. You know, you got the little NASCAR and they, they drive around in this giant circle at 200 miles an hour and in order to finish, so there's the starting line, which also is the ending line. After their 500 laps, they cross the starting line where at that point, which is the ending line and the race is over. Whoever makes it there first is the winner, right? So music, <clears throat> not necessarily a race, but the start and the end are the same and that's how you find out what the key of a song is so another analogy is a boomerang right so if you hold a boomerang correctly that's shaped like it's like 45 degrees or so piece of wood and if you throw it correctly when you throw the boomerang it'll go off in the air do what it's got to do you know do some flips some turns <clears throat> maybe hit something along the way which is what it was designed to do and if you miss it comes back and then you catch it within like two feet of where you're standing. So uh, the music starts in your original position, right, where you're standing at. And then you throw it off. So the music starts off and it goes and it does all these turns and flips and maybe hits something for you to eat. And it comes back and then you catch it in your hand. <clears throat> so that's the same thing that happens here. So uh, I'm going to start off with a very simple uh, song that most of all of us know, at least here in the States, which is Old MacDonald Had a Farm, right? Um, we're going to move to a little churchy song after this. Uh, very simple. I'm not going to deal with any changes, like identifying changes, except for the root, so we can find out what key a song is in. It doesn't matter how much theory you know if you can't find out what the key is, because you, you can apply the theory, but it's going to be all jacked up, right? So... <clears throat> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, we're going to stop right there, Oh, that's our starting point, like the race, right, you have your start, your start line, the light goes green, you take off from that start line, you do a lap, say there's one lap to finish this race, and then you cross the finish line, which is the start line as well, excuse me, and the race is over, Old MacDonald, Old, that first note, that's your start point. The green light just went off as soon as you sung that. Oh, so to apply that musically, we find out, huh, where's the start point? So what you can do is just hum the note in your head. Oh, and then you do one of these. Oh, I found it the first time around. E flat. That was luck. Sometimes you'll hear me doing the note. And then I'll catch it. But in this case, I found it. Oh, E flat. <clears throat> um, just a, a reminder, uh, I'm on a four string, but I tune flats. Uh, so I have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. If you want to do things uh, to follow where my hands are at, uh, just move everything down a half step. If you're tuned standard, then your E flat is going to be on your A flat string somewhere. Okay? So, <clears throat> I mean your A string, I'm sorry if you tune standard. So, <clears throat> anyway. Old MacDonald, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to go right now. So that first note, oh, the light's green, you take off. Now, on a NASCAR track, you have two banks, right? So you have the first turn, which is like an almost a 90-degree wall to keep the cars on the track, you know? So it's like, they take off, Oof. They hit the curve, boom, they're on the other side of the track now. Okay, now they're coming around the home stretch. They, <clears throat> well, the last turn, so they hit the bank, and now they're coming down the home stretch, and then you gotta hit the finish line. So, old MacDonald had a farm that's taken off. E-I, now you notice, it's a very slight change, but you, get your, you have to get your ear uh, accustomed to <clears throat> hearing these changes. So when you listen to music, you have to start really paying attention to when things are changing, 
when they're changing. You know, you have to be really um, aware of when things are changing. So even if you're listening to the radio, even if you're just listening to somebody speak or a preacher preach, you know, you can hear them when they change keys. You know, just start getting your ear used to these different changes of notes if you're not used to it yet. So, old McDonald had a farm. E I okay, so the car hits the first bank. Boom. There's a change. We're no longer going straight. We make the change. Okay, we're coming around. E I that's another change. We're coming around the last bank. We're going straight now. Let home straight. Oh now notice we're back on the E flat. The one. Now, how do we know that that's the key that it's in? Because that's where everything wanted to go back. Back to. It started there and it wanted to go back there. Now, <clears throat> And 99% of songs, um, especially Western songs, um, we can go into like the alternative rock scene where they have four chords and everything starts on one chord and it comes back to it. I mean, literally, there are hundreds of songs played with four chords, the same four chords, over and over. So, you know, just get accustomed to it. But, <clears throat> so, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I, E-I, that's the one. We started there. Things change. So the boomerang's off. It's circling around. That first EI, the thing, it, it starts hooking. EI, it makes that second turn. Oh, boom. It's back in your hand. So you got to get your ear used to where am I starting and where am I ending? What is familiar? Or if you know the song, you know where things sound the same. So you have to listen to the song and see where are areas where things sound the same. And if that seems like a point where things are resolving to, meaning that they're coming back to themselves, well, it's coming back to it all the time, over and over and over again, then that's going to be the key of the song that you're in. <clears throat> right? So let's take another one. Um, let's see. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Actually, let's not use that one. Let's go, let's go to the churchy one. Um, <clears throat> but that was E flat too. Snow. Okay. Um, churchy song. This little light of mine. This. Let's find out. This. That's B flat. <clears throat> My bass, B flat. I'm on the A flat string, and it's the second fret. Uh, there we go. This little light of mine. Okay, that's where it's on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm. So now you see, I'm gonna. It's a different note now. So things have changed. So now the car's going around the track. The boomerang's off. It's changing. <clears throat> I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, still changing. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna see, still changing. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I was in the wrong key. That's E flat. So see, where did it end up at? Now I thought it was B flat. But clearly, let it shine, let it shine. That's B flat. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm sorry, that's E flat. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this. See, change. It doesn't match anymore. This little light of mine. The car's off. It's going around. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. So it started there, this little, let it shine. So see, we went in this loop, boom, around there, came back, came back to your hand. Now, like I did, sometimes you're gonna start in the wrong spot, and then it's like, oh, man. That's not what I thought it was. But how do you fix it? Will you find out where it ends at? It wasn't the same point. So in the next video, I'm going to pick up the song Todd Laney, Pulling Me Through. And we're going to work on figuring that one out. All right.